Welcome back to Cornerstone. This is Jeff and Andrew. He is our lead designer and our lead CAD CAM guy. He does all of the ins and outs in our uh, technology world at Cornerstone here. Um, Andrew, what made you get into CAD CAM? Um, well, t to be honest, I kind of fell into it a little bit. Um, I went to school for animation, and so I have a degree and a background coming from that direction. I did some freelance graphic design work, some other things, and um, I just uh, happened upon a, a lab that was looking for some help uh, in the model room and you know it just kind of fit with where I was at with things and uh, so from there uh, it just so worked out that their CAD designer quit at about the same time that I started and so they, they had me start writing the CAD design right away because I had the background with animation and then I just kind of picked it up very quickly and ran with it. Awesome, awesome. That's what are some of the advantages of using the technology CAD CAM role rather than the old impression styles? So a traditional impression, um, there's, there's a, a certain percentage of inaccuracy when it comes to it. With, uh, with a uh, traditional um, impression, you get a certain amount of what, what's called bounce back. And so your impression has a degree of inaccuracy to it. When it comes to a digital impression, however, that information is captured accurately, 100%, right there at the time in the patient's mouth. So when it comes to a digital impression, you're going to get a much more accurate restoration as long as the procedures are being followed appropriate, you know, retraction, you know, tissue, moisture control. Um, so as long as those things are being followed, then you're going to get a way smoother restoration when it comes to using the, the digital means. Awesome. Okay. How do you like being part of the Cornerstone team? How's the atmosphere here? Well, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. You know, I, um, I've worked for another dental lab and, uh, you know, it was way more focused on uh, the production. Not that we're not here, but there's a lot more of the human interaction in between uh, everybody. You know, everybody knows what's going on in each other's lives and we're very supportive. You know, everybody knows that this is something that we're here for uh, 40 hours a, a, a week, you know, in, in some cases or longer, you know, depending upon what people's schedules are. But uh, we all seem to work together as a team to make sure that the, the clients, the customers, they get the restorations on time and, they, and we do it right. Great. Now, for some of our viewers that don't really know, what does CAD CAM stand for? What is that all about? So the CAD in CAD CAM, uh, CAD -CAM is a computer aided design, um, and then it's computer aided manufacturing. Okay. So essentially, we're using software to design the crowns, design the restorations, uh, design the frameworks for uh, partials, things of that nature. So all of that stuff uh, is created and designed digitally. So once we get either a traditional impression or a uh, digital one, it gets brought into the computer system and then it gets, uh, we use the computer to aid in the design process, whereas traditionally it would have been done by hand and physically making th that design, whatever it was, either waxing up the crown or waxing up the, the framework, whereas now it can be handled digitally. With the manufacturing, uh, it's sort of the same thing. We're, we're using those computer files that are generated. Uh, we're sending that output to different machines that are able to either uh, print uh, uh, something that would, would be used or to mill something that would be needed, uh, like in the case of zirconia. Okay, cool. All right. Where do you see CAD CAM in the next like five to ten years? Is it gonna prevail or is it just gonna wash away and go back to the old, old ways? Um, so I think with anything, progress is progressive, right? So it, it, there's not really ever a case where things are going to regress backwards. Now that said, there's always space in any market for an artisanal craftsman who is going to focus on something very specific and specialized and, and just do that one thing really great. Um, so I think there will probably always be those specialists around. However, for the majority of what is going on in the dental industry, the digital manufacturing processes uh, make it smoother, make it faster, and make it more efficient and cost effective for the dentists, for the patients, and for the lab technicians. So I see all of those things being integrated more and more. We're seeing more doctors come on board with uh, digital impression scanners, and then the digital production continues to ramp up because those files are in there. Um, as I've mentioned in the past, Traditional impressions have a measure of inaccuracy, and that happens anytime we take that out of the digital world and bring it into reality. So 
the longer it stays in that digital process up till the final completion of the product, the more accurate the final restoration is going to be. And so as those technologies continue to improve, as the 3D printing technologies improve, all of those things are going to work together to create a, a, a seamless workflow that can really speed up the turnaround for the dental industry. Very cool, very cool. All right, so now here at Cornerstone, we use a lot of different technologies. Um, what are we using in the design room and in the CAD CAM room to make everything? Okay, sure. So, so here at Cornerstone, we're uh, largely a, a three-shape um, lab, which uh, most people in the industry are familiar with uh, three-shape. It's, it's a very well-implemented, well-developed uh, software that allows for the scanning, the 3D scanning of the, the models, allows for the designing, whether or not that's uh, just a simple uh, single unit restoration or whether it's more complex implant restoration. So 3Shape can handle the design work that we do for that. And then from there, uh, those output files are, if it's a case of an implant, they're sent to the implant manufacturers uh, for uh, authentic uh, restorations that, that all meet all the right FDA requirements and things of that nature. Uh, otherwise, uh, it can be milled, if it's something that can be milled here, we do so. Uh, we're, we're using uh, VHF uh, mills for some things, but we're also using, uh, recently we, we acquired uh, some Roland. I believe it's uh, the DWX-52 is, I believe, what their, their short name is. Um, and those have been really great for implementing, you know, uh, more uh, milling turnaround for our zirconia crowns. Um, we're additionally, we're using uh, 3D printers of different various sorts. We have some from 3D Systems, the, the MJP3600, I think if I have the name right on that. Um, additionally, we do have a form labs. A form 2 that we're using um, for certain things, for uh, rapid uh, printing of anything that might need to be pressed or castable materials. So those things, we're, we're using all of them in conjunction uh, for, the, for the restorations, lots of different technology. Uh, there's also uh, the ovens that we use for centering the zirconia crowns, which go in the, the Centra uh, the centering furnaces that we have. Okay, those. great, great. All right, that's all we have for today. I want to thank Andrew for coming in. He showed us you the uh, inside track of the CAD CAM world. Uh, stay tuned for next week, and we'll show you what Cornerstone is all about.